This is all about your outlook for your short game. Developing the short game strategy that's going to enable you to play and choose the right kind of club for each different scenario. Over the next few videos, we're going to be chipping with uh, an 8-iron, a pitching wedge, a sand wedge and even a lob wedge. And it's very important that we understand how each of these clubs are going to make the ball fly and therefore roll. So, let's think about this. The, the 8-iron has less loft and of course that means it's going to hit the ball lower. So when the ball hits the ground, it's going to run by far the furthest. Playing a chip shot with a pitching wedge will make the ball go slightly higher, so then when it lands it will only roll a moderate amount. By the time we get to chip with a sand wedge or even a lob wedge, the ball is going much higher, so when it lands of course it's going to stop a lot quicker. But let's be very clear on one thing, playing with the lower lofted uh, clubs is always going to be much easier. Much easier to execute the shot and also much easier to judge the distance. Once we appreciate how far each of our chipping clubs flies relative to how much it rolls, we can then more accurately pick our landing spot. Now professionals are always looking to land the ball on a flat, consistent and predictable landing surface and that normally means the front edge of the green. So the landing spot is normally going to be about a yard or two on the green and let the ball run from there. I would never try and land the ball just on the green because if I'm a tiny bit short of course the ball lands in the fairway and that's going to react quite differently. So moving back to my balls here. I'm just off the green. The green's running down and away from me slightly. Let me play this first shot with an A-time. I'm going to land it a yard or two on the green where we said and of course it's an A-time so the ball will go fairly low. Well that landed just on but even so you can see the ball's going way too low and it's got too much speed on it. So more loft required. Let's try that with a pitching wedge. Again landing it a yard or two on. That one's rolling less but still a bit far so I think we need even more loft. Let's try the sandwich. Okay I've got a better feeling about this one. More swing required but the same landing spot. And that's much better. With this one I've got uh, a small amount of scruffy grass to cover and my landing spot is about halfway towards the hole. So an A time will be actually travelling way too fast and it wouldn't stop. But I do have a little bit of room to allow the ball to run. In this case a pitching wedge would be ideal. This is an easy decision. The, the ball's off the back of the green. I've got a, a small amount of rough to fly the ball over. I'm going to stick to our game plan and land the ball a yard or two on the green, but then I've got loads of room for the ball to run uphill towards the flag. So that's very definitely the low eight iron chip and run.